Hi, kids. Today, we will learn about a natural disaster that is a volcano. So let's get started. Before learning about volcanoes, we need to learn what are layers of the earth, what are fault lines, and what are tectonic plates. So let's first learn about the layers of the earth. The earth is made up of three layers. The outer crust is a layer on which we live. It is estimated to be about 1,800 miles deep. Then there is the mantle and then the core or the inner and outer core. The mantle, that is the outer core, is made up of molten material and gases. Molten materials are solids, like rock, that have turned into liquids because of extreme heat. The name of molten rock and other gases in the Earth's mantle is magma. Magma is liquid made up of many crystals, fragments, and gases. When they cool off on the Earth's surface, they turn into magmatic or igneous rocks. Now let's learn what are fault lines. Fault is a planar fracture in Earth's crust. They result from action of tectonic plates. Tectonic plates are pieces of the Earth's crust. And the uppermost mantle, together referred to as the lithosphere. Now, we know what are the layers of Earth, fault line, and also what are tectonic plates. So now we are ready to learn what is a volcano. A volcano is an opening or vent in the Earth's topmost layer called crust. Through this opening, extremely hot mixture of gases, lava, ash, and other burning substances called lava comes out. Volcanic eruptions create elevations that look like big mountains. Volcanoes occur at weak zones or points in the Earth's crust. Now let's learn various parts of volcanoes. Magma, molten rock material, which is beneath the Earth's surface, is called magma. Lava, molten rock material, when it comes out of the Earth's surface, it's called lava. And on solidification, this lava turns into igneous rocks. Vent, an opening in the Earth's surface through which volcanic materials escape is called vent. And vent is not visible in a volcano. The visible opening is called crater. It is the mouth of the volcano. This crater surrounds the volcanic vent. Ash, fragments of lava or rock smaller than 2 millimeters in size that are blasted into the air by volcanic explosions is called as ash. Ash cloud, a cloud of ash formed by volcanic explosions. Now let's see how and why volcanoes erupt. Sometimes extreme pressure builds up across the fault lines and a sudden eruption occurs and molten matter and ash comes out of the opening in the earth, which is called vent. 
when the molten matter is still inside the earth, we call it magma. And when it comes out of the earth's surface, we call it lava. Lava can be as hot as 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. It is red hot when it comes out of the vent and turns gray or black when it cools down. Some volcanoes are very, very violent and some are not as violent. There are different types of volcanoes all over the Earth's surface. Volcanoes exist even beneath the ocean, on the ocean beds. Common gases that comes out of the volcanoes are water vapor, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen chloride, and hydrogen fluoride and hydrogen sulfide. Now let's learn about some recent volcanic activities. Some active volcanoes exist in Iceland, Hawaii, Indonesia, Ecuador, and Mexico. Volcanoes in Philippines and Papua New Guinea have recently calmed down. There are about 500 active volcanoes on the Earth. The most active and biggest volcano on the Earth is Mauna Loa Volcano. Though we call volcano a natural disaster, but unlike floods, wildfires, earthquakes, and avalanches, volcanoes are not as bad as they seem. They have some positive effects to them too. Let's see some positive effects of volcanoes. Volcanoes create scenic beauty and also attract tourists, so it becomes a tourist destination. Places near volcanoes becomes very good sources of geothermal energy that can be tapped to produce electricity and many more purposes. The surrounding areas of volcanoes also becomes rich in nutrients and the soil becomes much more fertile. Now, let's learn some negative effects of volcanoes. The area where volcanoes erupt becomes devastated. That is, it destroys life and property. Ash that comes out of volcanoes has very bad effect on the ozone layer. The previous landscape and natural beauty of the place is destroyed. So kids, today we learned a lot about volcanoes. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!